first of all, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Um, I wanted to, before we started, to see if you, um, well, let me just tell you what I have in mind for today. Um, I'd like to actually start with Down in the Valley because I know that now you really have it in your fingers and you okay. and I like to try to start to do some stuff with it, you know, okay. make it more musical, make it more enjoyable to mm -hmm. play. Um, so we'll start with that and then we'll work on the other pieces in, in that order. We'll, we'll, we'll work through Tumbo and Malaika and then what was that? Uh, light and Blue. Okay. okay. Um, but first of all, do you have any questions about last week? Um, not really. I don't think so. Anything about, um, maybe something you were practicing that was harder than you thought it would be, or? Um, the foot pedal is a lot harder than the I thought The pedal? Okay. Yeah. For the, for this piece? Or for That's not on this piece, I think. For, for this, this one. one. Okay. Okay. Alright, we'll take a look at that. Um, anything about down in the valley that was a little bit more tricky or problematic? No, I didn't. Um... I don't know. After, I didn't practice this one very much, okay. like in the beginning of the week. Mm -hmm. And then after having practiced the other two a lot more, I went back and played this, and it wasn't wasn't as easy as when I had been practicing it like the whole week. You know, okay. I stumbled a little bit, and then mm -hmm. I had to, I was like, wow, I thought this, you know, I thought I had it, it was easy, and then I have to go back and yeah. go through it a couple times to okay. get it back in my ear. Okay. Well, do you want to just play through it once? And then we'll work. <coughs> with your hands and your wrists and your fingers okay. and whatnot because I think in the end that'll lead to you being able to play this song exactly how you want it to sound. Okay. okay. I know this is kind of a, you know, down the valley, it's a little bit of a dinky little piece, but I think it's, it is possible to make it sound like, um, you know, a nice, a nice sounding folk song. <laughs> Um, but what I want you to do is, uh, we'll start with the left hand, okay? I know the left hand is just this little waltz pattern, but I think it, it actually, it, could, it can help you um, transform the piece so that it's what you want it to be. I'd like you to just put your hand on the piano, okay? And I want you to put actually your right hand on top of your left hand, okay? Yeah, okay. So. Do you mind if I just sort of play on your shoulder? I want to show you something, okay? Our arm has a certain amount of weight, mm -hmm. right? And when we play, we often don't want to just attack with our fingers, mm -hmm. okay? We want to use a little more, bit more weight. Do you feel mm -hmm. that on your shoulder? Mm -hmm. Okay, and actually the, the best way, the most natural way to play dynamics, the louds and softs, is to control how much weight we use. Okay, but anyways, for now I want to see if you can learn, you can learn how to feel the weight in your arm. And I found the best way, um, this is something my um, previous professor has taught me, is you put your hand on your other hand, and for some reason it sort of magically allows you to feel what's going on. Because a lot of times when this is going on, it's so active, it just goes, and you're not sure what it's doing, it just mm -hmm. kind of plays. But once this hand goes on to this hand, you can start feeling what's going on. You can feel if it's tight, if it's loose, if you're using weight, all that kind of stuff. Okay? okay? So if you just, if just, if you just, um, let me, let me your forearm for one second. Let me just pull this <coughs> Let me your forearm, just right here. I'm just going to play in your forearm because it's, it's more space. Okay. Um, there's one way of playing, which is playing with just your fingers, and it feels like this. Mm 
Okay, you could feel there's pretty sharp attacks with mm -hmm. the fingers. Right? The other way is playing with a little bit more weight, which feels like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now when I do this, can you feel that beat one has more weight and beat two and three are lighter? Mm -hmm. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's actually, um, if you want to put a name to the motion, it's kind of like a down, up, up, down, up, up motion. Mm -hmm. You want to try that with your left hand? So think, put this hand on this hand, just like this. So just do what I do, and try playing down, up. <laughs> Sorry about that note. <laughs> okay, it'll lighten it up, and I think it'll help you play the song how you want it to sound. So. And also, let this be pretty flexible. I know you're told, put your hands on the piano, they should look like this, and then don't move them. But that's kind of like telling you the rules and then breaking them. So, your hand position should be approximately like this, but then it's always allowed to be flexible. So try. Try it down. Just this is if it were pretty tight. See how it feels kind of rigid? Mm -hmm. And then the other way is. And notice how it changes the sound immediately. Do you hear the difference? Mm -hmm. It's a pretty big difference, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you also felt what my hand felt like when I, I know I'm using feel a lot, but you felt how my hand. Um, felt when it was doing the two different things. Mm -hmm. Right? You want to try it? With my own hand? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Put it about on your wrist because that's sort of the part that has to be a little more flexible. Try it there first. Yeah. Go ahead and see if you can read the music now. different but the way you play it would be the same. Just a little extra on beat one just to give it a little more flow and direction. Just from right here, I'll start where at here the wind blows. difference in the sound that she's making? There's a difference in it. There's a difference. I mean, one um, was a little more rigid sounding, but this time when you played it was, it really flowed. Do you want to try it one more time and listen, listen to the sound? I know you're focusing on the notes and all that kind of stuff and um, you know, how your hand feels, but try it one more time so you can listen to your left hand. I think um, <clears throat> if you can keep your left hand that way and then play with a nice, you know, sound in your right hand, I think the balance of the piece, do you know what I mean when I mm -hmm. talk about balance? Yeah, will be just right and I think it'll be where you want it to be as well. Okay. I want to try... Um, can I ask a quick yep. question? Thanks for being honest about that. That's great. <laughs> keep being honest like that. That's awesome. <laughs> do you feel any difference in your left hand? Um, well, I mean, I understand what we're, like, trying to learn right now, but I can't tell, like, if we're basing this on just that one time that I just played that or, like, all of my playing, because I, I'm going to be honest, I kind of feel like I've been doing that. Yeah. So, like, I mean, in my practice, and you guys obviously aren't at home with me, so I, I know you can't hear, but, like, so I don't know if you're, I mean, I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I'm, like, supposed to change.